What's up, Ranger Nation? It is your boy, JB, and I'm here with an extra special video. And this video, I'm going to be ranking the foot soldiers from every Power Rangers season that we've had in the 25-year uh, history. 26-year history. We're on season, yeah, we're on 26 years. So I'm going to do every one of them, and I'm going to rank them in order, like I've been doing, least to favorite. You guys will be slightly surprised about who my favorites are. I think you guys will be slightly surprised. If you know who my what my favorite season is, you're going to be a little bit surprised. So stick around and we're going to go right ahead and just get into it. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start with them. Now, I will say that if there was a season that had like um like two main like two foot soldiers, I've kind of combined some of them I've combined, some of them I didn't. So you'll see you'll see how it goes. So we're going to start it off with my least favorite. And then we're so it's going to go it's just going to go least to most. So number um since we are at 26 but it's not 26 of them. Let me count this cuz I wrote them all down. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 28 foot soldiers with the and I'm one of them I had to include them together because they're the same they're literally the same just in a different color um so it's 27 so the first on my list of the the ones that I just did not like the most that I just did not care for at all Power Ranger Super Ninja Steel and Ninja Steel the Kuda bots I did not like the Kuda bots they were Really, the dumb, they were some of the dumbest ones that I've saw so far. It just wasn't, you know, and I, you know, for Super Ninja, Ninja Steel itself, when Ninja Steel first aired, you know, I, I had high hopes for Ninja Steel, but then it just got worse, progressively worse and worse and worse as time went on. But the Kudabots, it just, I didn't understand the Kudabots at all. So then the next ones on the list will be the X Borgs. The X Borgs. Again, dumb. Like with the X Borgs, I think that they could have, you know, since since Super Mega Force was a year of an anniversary, I think that they could have done so much more. They could have done so much more with the season. They could have done so much more with the suits, with the Rangers. They could have done a lot more. And with the um, with the um, X Borgs, they could have done a whole lot with the X Borgs. Since the X Borgs kind of. They didn't look exactly like the putties, but they kind of, you know, just if you looked at them like in a weird way, you could kind of see features of putties. Like you could have, they could have did something so different with those things. With the x boards. they could have, they could have done a lot with the x boards. And I'm going to talk about the x boards when I get to the putties on my list. So, you know, and I'm a, in a specific putty at that. They could have done a lot with the X-Borgs, and I wish that they did, but unfortunately, they did not. The next on my list are the Moogers, the Moogers from Power Rangers Samurai and Super Samurai. I absolutely, 100% hated the Moogers. The Moogers, you know, and it really wasn't the Moogers themselves that I hated. It was the Rangers that I hated because I hated every fight scene with the Moogers and the, and the um, Rangers. You know... I'm taking out all these moogers. So many moogers. A chopped mooger salad. Like, that shit was just irritating to me. Like, why do you guys have to, you know, say, why do you have to talk after every scene, after every move you make to a mooger? Why do you have to make a comment? And next on the list, following the moogers, the loogies. And the same thing, the loogies from Power Rangers Mega Force. The Loogies, I feel, are the same way about the Moogers. The Rangers just talked, told you know, talked to the whole fight scene. And the, the Moogers and the Loogies, the reason why I say the and the other thing about the Moogers and the Loogies is when you when it came down to them, we didn't have very, we had no civilian fight scene. We if we did, it was not that long before they morphed into, you know, the Ranger form. I guess it also could be said could be the same thing could be said for the um the uh the x the Kuda Bots, and even the Vivix, which I have not gotten to the Vivix yet. But, you know, um, the the, eh, the Moogers and the Loogies disliked them completely. Hated them with a passion, like a true passion. 
you know, when, when it comes down to it, I don't even watch those seasons. I don't watch Super Mega Force. I don't watch Mega. I have watched Mega Force. Mega Force is not as bad as, and, and it's bad, but it's not. You know, when you go back and look at it, it's not significantly. It's not as bad as you. I was thinking, but Super Mega Force is horrible, 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 horrible. So we're gonna move on to the next part of the list. All right, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this up into fours until I get to my top two. So the next tier on my list. And I included these together because I didn't like them at all. The Chillers and the Lava Lizards. Um, I hated both of them. I, I really hated it. If, if I had to pick who I like more in Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, it would actually be the Chillers. Because the Lava Lizards... The Lava Lizards... I just didn't... Under, I mean, I understood the Lava Lizards. I just did not like the Lava Lizards. I, I just thought that they were... They were big, they were bulky, and I just didn't like them. The chillers, I did kind of like the chillers because they were cold. So if you punch them, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hit. It's like you're hitting ice. So I did like the chillers, but I did, you know, they're not high on my list because they're just not my favorites. Next on the list are the craterites. I put the craterites here because the craterites in Power Rangers in Space, they were only in for one episode, but. We do know that they were the Sensei counterpart, um, their Sensei counterparts, foot soldiers. And we just, you know, like I said, we just had that one episode with the Craterites, and that was pretty much it with the Craterites. So that's why the Craterites are where they are on the list. Next on the list, the Piranatrons. I was not a fan of the Piranatrons by no means whatsoever. Like, if you notice the difference between season, the first half of Turbo and then from Power Rangers Turbo, if you notice the first half of Power Rangers Turbo and the second half of Power Rangers Turbo, in the first half it looked like when they would come up out of the ground, it looked like they was it was like they was either dirt or clay, and then the second half it was like they were just water. The Pranatrons were just pointless. I just did not get the. I just didn't get the Piranatrons. I, I, I wasn't a fan of the Piranatrons. They were dumb. You know, I did um, the theme song for the Piranatrons. And even the theme song. The years list, they smell bad. Piranatrons. Didn't like that. Did not like the Piranatrons. So, next on the list are the Putrids from Power Rangers Wild Force. You know, that first episode when um, they uh, had them and they just, you know, Toxica threw them in the air. Or was it the monster? And they just came down and... I, I, I just didn't understand the Piranatrons. I mean, the, the Putrids. Putrids and the Piranatrons. But the Putrids. I didn't like the Putrids. I, you know, and I, when I go back and think about Wild Force, Wild Force is actually a season that I didn't hate, but I didn't like it as well. But, um, yeah. So we're at the Putrids. And next are the Hideax from Power Rangers Mystic Force. Um. The Hideax. I don't remember the Hideax, but I don't even have a good reason for why I put the Hideax right here. I just didn't like the Hideax, period. And that's really basically it for the Hideax. I just didn't like them. Did not like them. Did not like them. And since we're talking about the Hideax, next on the list, the Stixoids. The Stixoids, they really. They didn't. Did they. I'm trying to remember. The, I'm trying to differentiate the Hideax and the Stixoids. Because one of them weren't used as much as the other. And I can't remember which ones it was. I can't remember. And this is all from Power Rangers Wild Force. I mean, not Wild Force, but uh, Mystic Force. I can't remember which ones it was. So then the next on the list are, from Power Rangers Time Force, the Cyclobots. The Cyclobots, I did like the Cyclobots, but I didn't like the Cyclobots. I used to always, you know, I used to love when the Cyclobots would go, and they would run. That would be about it with the Cyclobots. And they were useless robots. Um, but they were actually smart robots, though. Because on that episode, Time for Lightspeed, when that Cyclobot turned his hand into the thing to open the, um, the thing for Viper, they were actually pretty smart. But they just got a bad rap from, um, from Rancic, Nadira, and... Um, Frax, even Frax, at this at a certain point, Frax, would, well, he would get frustrated with them. The next on the list are the Batlings from Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. 
the battlings, I just actually really, the noise, that, I mean, I know that they were bats, but God, the noises that they would make were just irritating as hell. Like, they really irritated me. So we did the Stixoids, the Cyclobots, the Battlings. Next on the list, and I don't even know why I put these right here, because they actually, I really did like them. I, I think at this point on the list, I, I couldn't really differentiate where to put the Foot Soldiers. So we have the Kelzaks and the Kelzak Furies. Now, the Kelzaks were not that bright, and they were easy to defeat. But once um, they returned into the Kelzak Fury by, wasn't it Beevil? The episode um, all about Beevil. So when they returned into the Kelzak Fury, they became even stronger. And that was when the Rangers had a really difficult time battling the Kelzak Fury. So, you know, maybe I could have put the Kelzak Fury, you know, down a little bit more on the list. But, you know, it is what it is. I like the Kelzak Fury. So at this point in the list, we're getting to the ones that I liked versus the ones that I didn't like. Actually, you know what? So I realize when I, I realize it now. So the Cyclobots and the Batlings, I liked them. But with the Batlings, like I said before, the Batlings, it was just that noise that they made that just irritated, this, irritated my brain. So we're going to keep it moving, you guys. So next on the list, and um, I forgot to say, the, I don't know if I said the Kelsak were from Ninja Storm. But next on the list from Power Rangers in Space are the Quantrons. I like the Quantrons. You know, it's so funny when you go back and watch these seasons, even I, but I even noticed it when I was a kid, that if you ever notice in the fight scenes, like there were quite a few fight scenes with the Quantrons where their masks, their helmets will come off and you can actually see the um, suit actor in it. And then a lot of times you can see the suit actor's hands, like on the glove part of it, you can see the suit actor's hands. I like the Quantrons because the Quantrons in, um, from Out of Nowhere, part one and from part two, they gave the Rangers a run for their money. So the Rangers, so it lets it be known that the Rangers without powers were weak to foot soldiers and especially to the Quantrons because like I said, when they lost their powers and Andros left them on that planet by themselves, you know, the, uh, the Quantrons came and took, you know, took over and basically was kicking their butts. Um, so next on the list are the Swabbies, which were the Sentai um, counterpart of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy or Gingaman. Um, the Swabbies, I like the Swabbies because the Swabbies, her, you know, the Swabbies were pretty cool. I, I, I dig, I dug the Swabbies. I really did. Um, you know, it would have been cool if the Swabbies and the Stingwingers had fought with one another. I would have loved to saw a scene like that, but Trakina wouldn't have went for it. And because we all know she destroyed, um, Captain Mutiny once he entered her realm in the, um, uh, he entered her world. Um, next on the list are the Renshi from Power Rangers Jungle Fury. The Renshi, I really did enjoy the Renshi. The Renshi were, you know, they just, the fact that they jump like springs, boom, boom. And then the fact that a Renshi could become a monster, like, that was like, okay. So the foot soldiers can turn into actual monsters. I'm like, oh, pretty cool. And I, I, I actually like their costumes. I love the Renshi costumes. Love, love, love the Renshi costumes. So next we have the Grinders from Power Rangers RPM. Um, there's not much that I can say about the Grinders because the Grinders were, the Grinders were stupid at, at a certain point. They were stupid, but they were actually pretty smart. Um... And, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was easy for them to be defeated. We saw that in Power Rangers um, Samurai, Clash of the Red Rangers. I'm not going to even talk about Clash of the Red Rangers because, you know, remember, in Clash of the Red Rangers, um, the Samurai Rangers with their swords couldn't even touch the uh, grinders. So, I like the grinders. love the grinders. Grinders are, you know, are the shit. Sorry, kids. If, sorry if any kids are watching. If I'm cousin, I'm so sorry. You know. Put it out your brain. You didn't hear it. All right, so I actually kind of deviated from what I said I was going to do four at a time. I deviated from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up until I get to, because I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine more foot soldiers left to talk about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five in this little segment right here, and then we'll get to our top three and will be complete for the video. 
So next on the list are the Vivix from Power Rangers Dino Charge and Dino Supercharge. Um, I don't really have a specific reason for why the Vivix or where they are. I just really did like the Vivix. And I like the fact that the Vivix could grow with the monster as well. And what were those? Oh my God, I forgot to get the other ones that would be beside. What would the, and the, the Vivix could transform into something. I really forgot what they could transform into. Um, the next on the list are the Crybots. Crybots are from Power Rangers SPD. SPD Emergency. I like the Crybots. I was actually just watching like Power Rangers SPD um, last week. When I was off from work, I was watching it, binge watched it. I binge watched it up until episode um, to uh, Messenger when Sam came in. Um, the Crybots, I just like the Crybots. I don't have a reason. Next on the list are going to be the putties. Now, you might ask yourself, which putties are you talking about? Because we have two sets of putties. You got Rita's putties and you got Lord Zed's putties. So, the putties that I'm talking about are going to be You ready? Rita's putties. Um, I like Rita's putties because they were original. They were stupid. They were made from clay. They were made from clay. And I like the ones that were burnt. <laughs> I love those burnt ones. Next on the list are the Triptoids from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Um, there's no specific, specific reason for the Triptoids either. I just really like the Triptoids. And like I said before, with this part of the list, it just became hard and I didn't know where to put them. So I just, I just thought like, okay, I just, just put them on here. But my top three, my top, actually my top four, actually that's where we're going to stop at. With this part, we're going to stop before we get to the top four and we're just going, you know, I'm going to stop. So I got one more and next, and, um, and they came, they came from the same season as the, um, the Tyrant, the Trip Toys. The Tyranodromes. I like the Tyranodromes from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. I really did enjoy the, the, um, the Tyranodromes. The T-Drones, as um, Mora called them, from the um, from uh, Power Rangers um, SPD. I'm rambling, you guys. I know. I hate when I do that. I hate when I ramble. But, you know, we get through it eventually. So, we're going to stop right here, and we're going to go into my top four. All right, you guys. So, now it's time for the top four foot soldiers that I like. You guys might be slightly surprised by this part of my list. Again, if you know who if you know what my favorite season is, you're going to be slightly surprised at what number 2 and number 1 are because number 4 on my list are the Stingwingers from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And again, if you know me, if you watch my videos, you know that Lost Galaxy is hands down my favorite season of all time. And for my for the Stingwingers to be number 4 on my list, it kind of hurt me, but I'm like, you know what? I like the Stingwingers, but they can't top my top two. And actually, my number one, they cannot top them. So, number three on the list. Um, number three on the list. What do you guys think number three is? Any guesses? Because you got... So, I'm going to give you um, guys some ideas. Because you guys pretty much, you guys should know which ones I haven't said. So... We have the Tangas, the Cogs, and Lord Zed's putties. So, the question is, where do you think they rank? Where do you think they rank? So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you number three. Number three on the list are... Ready? You guys ready? The Tangas. Yeah, I had to put the Tangas here because the Tangas were hilarious. I die, you know, every time the Rangers would fight the Tangas, I would die. Those scenes were by far the funniest scenes I've ever saw in Power Rangers franchise. The fight scenes with the Tangas. <laughs> oh my god. Now, if like when if like um with um Mega Force and Super Mega Force, if they had done something like what the Rangers did with the Tangas, like how they talked crap to the Tangas, like man, if they did something like that. That would have been cool, but the fight scenes with the Tangas were always my favorite. I would love when those Tanga birds would just show up. Ninja Ranger Power Now or Ranger Ninja Power Now. Like, I loved the Tangas. Hands down. You know, maybe they should have been number two on my list. But number two on the list, number two. 
number two. Number two. Are you guys ready for number two? Number two on the list are the Cogs from Power Rangers Zio. I love the Cogs because the Cogs had to completely be destroyed in order. You know, you had to completely dismantle them to destroy them. And the fact that water. You know what? That is so interesting. Think about this. Because there was an episode where they were in there was an episode where they were in water and they weren't destroyed. And I I know for a fact on Countdown to Destruction, I believe they were on um Aquatar, right? What planet were they on on Power Rangers? Um and But I know at, there were some scenes where the cars could run through water, but anytime they would get wet, they would like that was interesting. I just thought about that. All right, so number one on the list is obvious. It's Zed's putties. You guys might ask, why is Zed's putties number one? That should be an obvious reason. Zed's putties were amazing. Oh my God. And I think the thing for Zed's putties that I liked was, num it was two things about Zed's putties that I liked. In order for them to be defeated, you had to hit them in the Z. That was the best part. Well, that was one part that was so good about it. And then the other part that made them even better was the fact that every time they would show up, they would do something stupid. Like I loved how they how they came how they would um just when they would materialize, the little the stances that they would pull, hands down, phenomenal. But you guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what your favorite foot soldiers are. Let me know what your least favorite foot soldiers are, and we will discuss it in the comment section below. So until next time, Ranger Nation. Later.